All right, this is uh, for Jeff Head's Modern Military Aircraft, uh, Jeff Head's channel on YouTube. What we have here is a 172nd scale model of the actual production version of the uh, Jingdu J-20 fifth generation stealth aircraft that the Chinese have made. Uh, this is made by Dreamland. I'm not sure if it's a subsidiary of Trumpeter or not, but it is made in China. But it is the only actual production version of the aircraft I've been able to find. I'm going to move this back so we can look at the rest of the model. Uh, this model, I have three different versions of it. I have the first uh, prototype that was unveiled in 2000. And 12 after we had canceled our remaining bills of F-22s which is by far the best fifth generation stealth fighter in the world to this day we had built 190 some odd aircraft at that time but the Defense Department secretary uh, announced that uh, the, Jap the Chinese weren't going to have a fifth generation aircraft until the prototype, mind you, until 2024, maybe 2025, and the same with the Russians. So, uh, they canceled the rest of the F-22s, and we have 175 or so of them flyable. Very good fighters to this day, and they've been used all over. But this is now... Uh, one of the early productions, one of the first 48 production scale. You can see the uh, light uh, markings on it. Uh, where they had uh, bright red markings on the earlier ones. Same thing with the numeric numbers and whatnot which shows it to be uh, one of those first. It's either one of the first or second group. I think this is in the first group of 48. And uh, I'm a hard time seeing in there because of the way the light is, but it's got a very detailed uh, inside to that uh, cockpit. And I'll try to show you that better here in a moment. There have been a few changes. They've updated the tail section somewhat to improve the uh, the stealth back there. It's been improved, but it's still nothing in terms of the actual stealthiness, the infrared stealthiness of the F-22. Uh, but this one has been improved significantly, and the whole aircraft and its airframe is very stealthy design and I'm sure has a composite and stealth absorbing material you know but uh, this is the J-20 and they're working on getting their 96th out I know they've got 48 I believe uh, that have been completed and they're working on the second group of 48 and as you will see as we turn this aircraft over again there's the low res markings same basic type load as the F-22 you got six long range missiles in the medium in the middle large uh, weapons bay and then you've got in each of the single side weapons bay you have here a short-range Chinese missile and so this is its uh, full stealth air superiority mode uh, and it's armed very similarly to the F-22 in terms of its load. Now whether those missiles themselves are as good as the US missiles we don't know for sure. They're good missiles, we do know that. And there's the, the look at it. You can see that inlet is very well done. 
and uh, and the uh, weapons bays, of course, have very good angled, stealthy edges. I'm going to try to get this up here so I can get a better look at the at the cockpit here. Maybe I can get uh, get that cockpit so that we can. See if we can get a good view of that. There we go. Now we're starting to see it a lot better. As you can see, the internal cockpit is very well detailed. And uh, if I could get, you know, uh, again, a flashlight and point it on there, you'd see it even better. But I think you can see pretty well how well it's been done. So this is a, a very good model. And uh, it's the best the Chinese have to offer right now. And they're, they will be closing in on a hundred of these aircraft towards the end of this year. Uh, and uh, this is one of those production aircraft. They don't have a carrier stealth aircraft yet. They're wanting one because our allies have bought so many F-35Bs to put on the Japanese carriers, the Korean carriers, the Australian carriers. The Indians are looking at them for their three carriers. To have the F-35B, and of course we've got on our uh, large carriers, we have the F-35C with the larger wing for more fuel and more weapons and longer range. But then we also now are outfitting four of our LHAs and LHDs uh, to carry 24 to 30 F-35Bs as our allies are doing. And so what that has done, that strategy, and that was instituted by Trump, uh, has allowed, you know, another dozen carriers outside of our own 16 now to uh, to be outfitted with anywhere from 22 to 30 F-35Bs. And so that stealth fighter and its super fusion will be a match for the J-20. J-20 will also be a dangerous aircraft in and of itself. And nobody wants to say that it's not a good aircraft. And certainly no American pilot would uh, be so foolish as to take it for granted uh, because it's a good aircraft. But the F-35A, B, and C are also very good aircraft. And we expect the Chinese are going to build four to six hundred of these J-20s. Uh, the F-35A, B, and C, the United States is going to have uh, 3,000, upwards of 3,000 of those, and our allies are going to build 1,500 or so more. So there will be well, right now, originally, we, we figured 3,400, but now that all these guys, other nations, they, we hadn't really counted on or buying so many F-35Bs, uh, we may push 4,000 of those things out the door. And so there will be many, many strong fifth-generation U.S. aircraft, including, on top of that, of course, 175 or so uh, F-22s. If you look on my channel, you'll see videos like this one of all of those, and I urge you to do so. The, it's a good look. But we also want to make sure that we look at these, as they call this, the Mighty Dragon. These mighty aircraft, these very good aircraft that the Chinese have. The Chinese have some very, very good fourth and four and a half generation aircraft where they have taken older uh, Russian frames or designs and then very much improved on them. And uh, they've got some very good aircraft and of course their own aircraft, the J-10, uh, you know, the J-16 and several others that they have built themselves. So there's many, many hundreds of aircraft that they have, and uh, 
they cannot be taken for granted because even a good four and a half generation aircraft in the hands of a good pilot and with the proper weapons is dangerous even to fifth generation aircraft as they can see it or develop the radar that can perhaps find it. Right now for the F-22 and I believe the F-35 that's very difficult if not impossible to do. But the J-20 is the one that they will, will hope will do it. And uh, it is, as you can tell just from looking at it, a very, very good aircraft. And uh, as I said, I expect there'll be four to six hundred, if not more, of those. Um, I think they would be pressed to build 3,000 of them, though, with all the other buildup that they are doing. So this is, once again, Jeff Head's uh, military channel on YouTube. And this is a 172nd scale aircraft. It's the J-20 Mighty Dragon for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAAF. Thanks for looking. Uh, and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and, and look at more. We have many, many uh, videos of both aircraft and one 350th scale modern ships. Thanks.